let's answer part a so here we determine f of 1 so we can find f of 1 by replacing x in f of x by 1 so when i do that i get uh, 1 cube minus uh, 15 times of uh, x is replaced as 1 so it becomes 15 times of 1 squared minus uh, 37 times of replace x by 1 plus uh, 51 so let's simplify this 1 cube is 1 minus 1 squared is 1 and uh, when you multiply with 15 we get uh, negative 15 and then 37 times of 1 is uh, negative 37 plus 51 we add the positive numbers 51 plus 1 is uh, 52 and we also add the negative numbers that is 15 plus 37 is 52 but since it is a negative number we put a negative 52 so we get 52 minus 52 equals 0 so we see that uh, f of 1 this uh, equals 0 Let's do part B now. So here we have to read it f of x as a product of linear terms. So for this, uh, I'm going to use the part A uh, value. That is, we know that f of 1 equals uh, 0. So let me write this here, f of 1 equal to 0. So according to the factor theorem, suppose if we have a polynomial f of x, and uh, if uh, f of A equals uh, 0, then we see that uh, x minus a is a factor of the polynomial f of x. So this is by the factor theorem. So since uh, we determine that f of 1 equal to 0 for the polynomial f of x equal to as given in the right side expression, we see that uh, x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. So that means we can uh, rewrite the f of x as a product of x minus 1 times another expression. So I'm going to write down this, that is uh, x minus 1 times of uh, the another expression or another polynomial is the uh, expression given for f of x, which is uh, x cube, write down this as uh, x cube minus 15x squared minus 37x plus 51. We now see what could be the expression that should come inside this bracket. So for that, uh, we have to realize that uh, this polynomial is a cubic polynomial. That is the highest degree of this polynomial is uh, 3. And here we already know that x minus 1 is a factor. And this means uh, this polynomial is divisible by x minus 1. So when you divide a cubic polynomial, that is with the degree 3, uh, by a linear polynomial with the degree 1, the highest degree of the expression that we are going to get is 2 because we have to do the subtraction, that is uh, 3 minus 1 equals 2. So therefore, we are going to get a polynomial whose degree is 2 and that polynomial is nothing but a quadratic polynomial. So here, we can put the generic form of the quadratic polynomial. So let me rewrite this. So we have this uh, linear factor x minus 1 times of that uh, quadratic polynomial and I don't this the general form that is uh, ax squared plus uh, bx plus c where a b and c are constants which we will determine now and uh, this equals the cubic polynomial that is uh, x cube minus uh, 15x squared minus 37x plus 51. So let's uh, distribute uh, the terms, that is we are going to distribute this uh, x uh, and the negative 1 into the terms inside this bracket. So first I multiply by x, so x times of uh, it will be ax squared plus uh, x times of uh, bx plus uh, x times of c and then we have to multiply with negative 1, which means we just have to rewrite this every terms as a negative with a negative sign. So it will be negative ax squared, negative bx, negative c, and this equals the right side polynomial, which is a cubic. So we have x cubed minus 15x squared minus 37x plus 51. Now let's uh, simplify this. So this is uh, x times of ax squared, 
we will have a x cube because x times x squared is s cube plus uh, when we multiply these two we get uh, b times of x squared so i write down this as b times of x squared and then we have c times of x over here and uh, the last uh, remaining three terms that is uh, negative a x squared negative b x negative c and this equals this uh, cubic polynomial that is x cube minus 15 x squared minus 37 x plus uh, 51. So now let's uh, simplify the left side expression. I'm going to write down the cubic term first that is the x term with the power 3. So we only have this a x cube and let's see if we have some like terms. We have uh, x squared like terms. So when we factor the x squared, we will get uh, b minus a as the factor. So I write down this as b minus a times of uh, x squared. And uh, we then have this x term that is cx minus bx. So when you factor the x from these two terms, we will get uh, c minus b. So I put this as plus c minus b times of x. And finally, we have only this constant term that is negative c. So I put this as negative c. And this equals uh, x cube minus 15x squared minus 37x plus 51. Now to determine the values of a, b and c, we have to uh, equate the corresponding coefficients. So first uh, let's uh, equate the coefficient of x cube. Uh, we, we have a x cube here and we have x cube here. So the coefficient of x cube here is a and here we can assume that it is uh, 1. So these two must be equal. So we see that uh, a equals 1. And similarly, we can equate the coefficient of uh, x squared. So the coefficient of x squared is b minus a here. And the coefficient of x squared is uh, negative 15. So we can see that uh, b minus a, this equals uh, negative 15. And since we already found that uh, a equal to 1, we can replace a equal to 1 here. So therefore, it becomes uh, b minus 1. This equals uh, negative 15. And this gives, uh, we can add uh, 1 on both sides. So we get uh, b equals negative 14. So we have also determined the value of b. Now we just have to determine the c. For that, uh, I'm not going to equate this. Instead, I can see that uh, I have negative c here. And the only number on the right side is positive 51. So we can replace this uh, information. So we write negative c equals uh, 51. And this implies uh, we divide both sides by negative c equals uh, negative 51. So now we have determined all the constants that is uh, a, b, and c. So therefore, we can rewrite our uh, quadratic polynomial that is ax squared plus bx plus c. So therefore, ax squared plus uh, bx plus c and this equals a is 1 so it becomes 1 times of x squared plus b is negative 14 so it is negative 14 times of x plus c is uh, negative 51 let's simplify this so 1 times of x squared is x squared plus times minus is negative so it becomes negative 14x and plus times negative is negative so it is negative 51 so we have determined this uh, quadratic expression which is uh, x squared minus 14x minus 51. In fact, uh, we can rewrite this in factor form. That is uh, x uh, minus of uh, 17 times uh, x plus 3. Because we see that uh, the product is uh, negative 51. So we consider negative 51. So we have to identify two numbers whose product is negative 51. And those two numbers are 17 and 3 but we need the sum as negative 14. So we have to adjust the signs. So we put negative here and we put positive three here. So negative 17 times uh, positive three is negative 51 and negative 17 plus uh, three is negative 14. So it satisfies this information. So clearly these are the factors. That is we have written this uh, quadratic expression in factor form as like this. Now, if we go back to our uh, original equation, this is this must be satisfied. That is, uh, we can 
now rewrite this uh, cubic polynomial as a product of uh, this uh, uh, factor which we already figured out and also this quadratic expression which we have already written in uh, as a product of linear terms so therefore the given polynomial can rewrite this uh, given polynomial which is uh, x cube minus of 15 x squared minus 37 x 15 x squared minus 37 x plus 51 and this equals uh, uh, our first two factor is 1 so I put this as x minus 1 times of uh, we then have to put the remaining two factors that is uh, x minus 3 times of uh, x plus 3 in fact uh, we can put this x plus 3 in front uh, which doesn't matter over here so this is uh, we have written this uh, cubic polynomial as a product of uh, linear terms that is x minus 1 times x minus 17 times x plus 3 